first off, biodiversity. I put this at the top because I'm a climate person and I, want to, I wanted a bit of a change. But also I think arguably it's the most important boundary and it's probably the most difficult one to manage. We've poisoned, outcompeted, or simply eaten so many other species in their entirety that we now know the Earth's in its greatest mass extinction events for 65 million years since the end of the Cretaceous. And I really don't think you can overstate the urgency of tackling this problem. Every year, the red list of endangered species adds more names to its roster. What is it, a quarter of mammals, a third of amphibians, sixth of birds, quarter of corals, quarter of freshwater fish threatened with extinction currently. And it's not just entire species. It's the global abundance of these animals. The, the abundance of vertebrates fell by a third over the last 40 years. So that's a third fewer wild animals showing the planet with us. Uh, there's more... Homo sapiens babies added to the earth every single day than the entire remaining populations of great apes. Those are the bonobos, the chimpanzees, the orangutans, and the gorillas. So does, I asked the question, does the Anthropocene have to be a, a zero-sum game where it's us or them? And I really don't think it does. And I don't think even morally that this one species of ape, ourselves, has the right to capture so much of the earth's productivity just for itself. And I think also that science shows that we need to retain the complexity of biodiverse ecosystems if they, continue, if they are to continue to support the biosphere and to support ourselves by implication and to protect the resilience of the Earth as a living system. Hence the proposed boundary, which we've overshot massively, perhaps by 100 times or more. So how do we improve things? Well, I think we've got to in somehow integrate nature into the productive economy. Um, perhaps through payments for ecosystem services. There's many examples of, of how they can work very well. Uh, I think we need to also scale up biodiversity offsets um, so that those who are doing big projects to pay for, can pay for conservation measures of equal value somewhere else. These, these things are all problematic, but there's, there's no easy way to, to get past this boundary.